Okay, when we start making painted paper, you're gonna get a mixture of colors. Um, I'm gonna add a couple of different colors onto your plate that you can mix together to make a nice color. So when we mix yellow and magenta together, we're gonna get a nice orange color, but you don't have to mix it all right away. You can kind of mix it onto your paper and mix it in the plate as you're going. I'm gonna start with yellow and use this big sponge. My goal is to just totally cover the paper first, and then I'm gonna add some cool textures and um, different designs to the paper as I go. I'm going to fast forward here so you can see this process quickly. You can also stamp the sponges to make a pattern design. And you can use the end of your brush, like the pointy end of your brush, to scratch on the surface of the paint to make some cool line designs too. And I have some other texture tools that you can use, like this funny sponge guy, um, to make some different patterns on the surface of the paper, as well as some rollers with some different shapes on them too. All right, now I'm happy with the way that this paper is looking. Lots of different textures that we see in layers. I'm gonna go put this on the drying rack till the next day. I'm gonna show you one more example using some different colors and some different techniques um, and different tools for making textures. For this one, I'm gonna be mixing yellow and blue. And when we mix those together, what are we gonna get? If you said green, you were right. Good job. Okay, here we go and fast forward. For this one, I'm going to try to make an ombre effect. So I'm going to just start with the yellow and take it just past halfway and then start adding my blue in so that I get kind of a like blue to green to yellow effect on my painting. Okay, now I'm ready to add some texture, and I'm going to use this scratchy looking tool and just try twisting it. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Um, so I'm just going to do this all around. It kind of reminds me of Van Gogh's Starry Night painting. Remember, as you guys are working on this, just like me, you can just try stuff out and see if you like it. If you don't, you can just paint over it and try something different. It's all about experimenting and having fun. I like the way these swirls look, so I'm going to use the end of my paintbrush to add some more. And once we're happy with the way that our paintings look, then we're going to put them somewhere to dry. You guessed it, on the drying rack until tomorrow.